Hi everybody, it's Jackie from The Willy Badger here and today I am going to be talking you through the basics of how to work two coloured brioche. So brioche is a kind of fancier rib really. Um, you'll note here that it's got a basic rib shape. On this side we've got the purple as the knit stitches and on this side we've got the neutral showing as the knit stitches. Um, it's a largely reversible Kind of stitch uh, which makes it great for things like shawls where you can have both sides sort of showing um it's really good for hats because it's so incredibly stretchy um but yes it looks a lot more intimidating than it is so i'm going to be showing you how to work it flat today um you'll notice that even though we're working it flat i still have it on a circular needle and that's a really important point to make. Um, you need a circular needle or at least a long double pointed needle to work brioche flat because what you do is you effectively, well literally, work each row twice. So you start off with what we're going to call the main colour gel which is the purple and you go across and you work all of the knit stitches. I'll go through how we do that in detail in a minute. Then you go back and do the so it's that working that row twice that means you need to have the circular needle because when you get to the end of your first pass at it with your main colour, you need to be able to slide all your stitches back along the needle so you're back at the start of the row ready to work with your second colour. That will become a lot more obvious when you see it in practice. So let's get started. So let's get started working the first row. So we're going to start off working the purple. So working all of these knit stitches. Now you might have been wondering what the heck do we do with the stitches that we're not working because they are in between every one of those. Now when you look at how this is on the needles you'll see that there on the purple there is the stitch. There is also a yarn over of the contrast colour yarn there. That is the answer to the question of what the heck do we do with the stitches we're not working? You do what is called a slip one yarn over. So the first stitch that I'm going to come to here is in fact colour that we're not working this row. It is my contrast colour. So I'm going to bring my yarn to the front and I'm going to do that slip one yarn over. So I slip the stitch take my yarn over the needle. Simple as that. Then here where I have my stitch and my yarn over from the previous row I do a brioche knit. So for that I am taking my needle under the yarn over and the stitch itself. So through both those and I am just knitting them together. Then I do I slip one yarn over, one over there, brioche knit, the next stitch. Yarn to the front, slip one yarn over, brioche knit. And you'll see what's happening here is now we've got those brioche knits presenting as just that one strand of the main coloured yarn and the stitches we've slipped have got the purple yarn over over them. Um, once you get up to speed a bit more, you can slip and just take your yarn over and work that brioche knit all in one movement, uh, which just makes things a little bit speedier. I also find it easier to tension my uh, yeah, slip one yarn over that way because if I do it in two stages going slip and then yarn over and then have to sort of do the stitch it's just a bit of extra faff so we are now at the end of the row I am going to finish with slip one yarn over and I'm just doing a normal knit stitch at the end of this row this is where we're getting ready to do the slide I talked about so stitches are there but I need to be knitting over here so I just slide them along my circular needle and then we're going to start with the 
contrast color. So here we go. It's just a normal knit stitch for that one. And we are working the pearls for the contrast color here. So what I've got here is that yarn over and the stitch. And for a brioche pearl, your needle goes behind both of those strands of yarn and you pearl them together. Then slip one, yarn over. For this, the yarn comes back to the front because you are then going to brioche pearl. And you carry on like that till the end of the row. So I've just reached the end of that row and now it is time to turn back and work the other way. So you'll notice on this side that that contrast colour is presenting as the columns of the knit stitches, uh, which makes it nice and easy to follow what we're going to do on this side. Uh, we are now, as you would in just normal ribbing, going to knit back the other way. Because it's brioche, we're going to do it twice. So we're going to start off with the main colour. So I'm just slipping that stitch just for the sake of this swatch. And then I'm going to slip that first contrast colour stitch and do my yarn over. Now on the previous row we were knitting the main coloured stitches, that means on this side we need to pearl them. So slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl and onwards till the end. So I finished the first half of my wrong side row here, purple yarn over here and I need to be knitting on this side, ready to go again. Um, if you ever put your knitting down in the middle of doing things, by the way, and need to know what on earth you're doing next, look at where your yarns are. So here I can see main colour yarn is over here. Contrast is here. I still need to work this contrast run to get that yarn over there. So I'm going to slide my stitches and then we go so this is going to be the brioche knit and then slip one yarn over brioche knit and on like that until the end and that's it that is the basics of how to work two coloured brioche